Good morning, happy new year, and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So we're starting off the new year on a cold, cold day. Uh, I think we're supposed to be in the 30s and 20s at night, and it's a massive difference from last week because we had the windows open and the garage doors open. So who knows? So we have Meadows litter, and that's also a case of who knows. Um, they are three weeks old tomorrow. So next Monday, we are going to do oral swabs on each of them, and those will be sent to the DNA company in Tennessee. And they said within two weeks, I should have my results back. <clears throat> and uh, it'll be interesting to see. I have my own prediction on these guys, so I'm anxious to see if my prediction is gonna come right. And uh, <clears throat> Vanessa and I are both dying to, to know. So anyway, I got a frog in my throat. I'm sorry, I don't know why. I'm not, I don't have a cold and I don't have this thing or that thing or the other thing you can have. So, or whatever thing we can have at this point, but I'm good, I just got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> um, they're doing really good. Meadow's doing great with them. Um, they're getting fat and sassy. They're a little bit upset because eyes haven't been open that long. This is all new. They've not, they've been down here before, but they've not been down with their eyes open. So it's a little scary. I know, and you're my noisy one. You're my noisy one. There, you'll be okay. You'll be all right now. Okay. So we're gonna go through and give you microchip numbers. I wanna keep you guys up to date on them as they go so you can still watch them grow. Um, and we can hopefully figure out who's who. I think there's one schnoodle in here right now that I can tell, and we're debating. I, I think if there's, I think if there's anything in here, I think there might be two schnoodles. If I, and that's my guess. So I know you're going to say, well, which ones? Why don't you tell us? So I'll tell you my guess. My guess is this one is a schnoodle. Oh my goodness sake! Here, let me put you in the middle. Let me smash you. I think maybe if I swallow you in here, you'll be better. So I do think this one is a snoodle. Now, you're gonna ask me why I think that. Well, schnauzers don't turn colors like this. I think this is a snoodle, but I could be totally wrong. It could be, it could be a, I think it's a snoodle. It could be a schnauzer, and we really won't know until I get the DNAs back, but that's my guess is this one and the chocolate. Those two, I think, and this little chocolate one, but this is a phantom, and the, the male that got in there was a phantom. So, I think my guess is gonna be these two are schnoodles. I think these are schnauzers. I could be totally wrong. That's just my guess. Um, oh my golly sake. The nice thing is, uh, from what I understand from the company, they will send us back certificates only on the ones that are purebred. And they will say, this puppy came from, the certificate will apparently say, um, the mother and father fathered this puppy. Uh, the mother and father, these are not from the father. Um, so that's how they'll tell. And so the ones that are purebred will each get certificates back from what I understand from the company. And the two or the three or all of them that aren't, won't get anything back certificate wise. It'll just say it does not belong to that father. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's next Monday. We're gonna send those in on Monday's mail. And uh, it'll be the first thing we do on Monday morning is we'll swab everybody. We'll swab chaps and we'll swab uh, meadow and off the mail they go. So we'll find out soon. Um, all right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys I have got, remind me, I have got to change this when we go up. It's dead. So we're going to start down here with the little Merle. Ah, uh, this is 9866. This one is so, they just got a bath, in fact. Vanessa gave him a bath and threw him in the dryer. And no, it's not a dryer that goes round and round in circles. People say that when I tell them we put them in the dryer. We have a dryer that hooks on a crate, and they're all laying in the crate, and then the heat blows on them. Uh, I do not think this is going to have blue eyes. I could be wrong at the point down the road, but right now this one does not look like at all that it's gonna have blue eyes. Looks like they're gonna be black eyes. I know, but you could change, huh? He's still too much of a baby to really tell. All right, she is, she is too much of a, is this a he or she? He, that little winky was so tiny I couldn't see it. 
All right, let's see. We are... Turn it oh, on. it helps if I turn it on. It's my first day in two 2022 to screw up. Just my first screw up of the year, people. I have a lot more on my plate, I'm sure. All right, so this is... One pound, 2.6. Oh, everybody's quiet. Everybody's quiet. All right, I'm going to swipe this one. Now, this one's microchip number is 9874. And this little girl, Vanessa thinks, is going to have blue eyes. I, th I would say 50-50. They are blue right now, but will they stay blue? Uh, time will tell. She is adorable. It's your two babies. Yeah, your two babies. All right, so one pound, 2.8. They've really gotten cute. I'm gonna take face pictures today. Meadow was kind of panicking when she saw me walk by with them in the basket to come down the basement because we've had them out for about an hour because they've had a bath. They just got out of the dryer. So we're gonna take them back up and give them to Meadow. I'm gonna do the noisy one last. So we're gonna start on this end. This is a big puppy. This one is 9867, which I'm really surprised it's this big because if it's Chaps's, Chaps is a 22, 23 pound dog. I expect this out of Chaps, but I just don't expect this color. Unless it's gonna all turn salt and pepper. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, huh? You're cute, whatever you are. So this one does not have blue eyes. And this one is a male. And you are, you're big. Uh, one pound, 10.2. All right, and the other thing is the hair is curling up, which makes me kind of like, mm. All right, can I turn you around? I'm so afraid you'll just decide to pitter-patter right off the table. All right, so the next one is the chocolate, which I think is turning phantom. Yep, it is. So this little girl is going to turn phantom, which very well could be theirs. Um, she's got brown eyebrows, brown on the legs. She's got the brown cross across her chest. You're coming back my way. I don't want you to. Go up there. And let's see what she weighs. One pound, 5.2 ounces as of today. All right, I'll sit you down over here. You need to just stay where you're at. Yes, you just need to stay in your place. I'm gonna pull this one out and I'm gonna scoot you over. All right, this one's a blue Merle party. This one is so pretty. Oh, 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 you're not gonna like me to do this, are you? Nope, you're okay, you're not gonna fall. You're not gonna fall. She says, I'm leaving, you're okay. Don't panic. No, don't panic, you're fine. Now, that's better. Yeah, this one is going to have blue eyes. I would say 50% sure. I know. She's got a cute face. This one's a blue Merle. She's got the dark spots on the back. And she says, I want to get down. There, let me stand you on the table. That better? Now you don't feel like you're going to fall. Really nice coats. They have really pretty coats. Did I do your chip number? I don't think so. 98.73, and this is a female, and she is one pound, 7.2. All right, down she goes. I know. All right, so we're gonna get the noisy one. This one is the blue Merle. Oh, and she says, I'm stretching. Are you stretching? This one's a male. This one says, I'm going to turn the corner and come in backwards. You want to come in? You're going to lay there backwards? Well, then let me turn you this way. There. All right, 98.75. Really pretty coat. Nice big coat. Goodness. You have a big coat. I don't, I can't tell. There's a possibility. Possibility of blue eyes. Can't tell. This one has brown eyebrows starting to come in right here and a little bit of brown right there. So you'll be a quandary to see what you end up, won't you? And I know you're a pretty baby. All right, let's see what she, he, he weighs. 
one pound 4.2 all right so that gives you the skivvy on these guys I'm gonna scrunch them in the back in the middle they're all doing really good um, I just wish that we could tell you definitively what they are yet but we can't so uh, I hope you have any questions about them. Otherwise, we're just kind of all sitting here waiting. Um, next Monday, we'll do their new test. We'll send that in in priority mail. And we hope to have it back in two weeks. So uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see where it goes. So have a good one. I hope you have a great, had a great New Year's and a nice Christmas. And uh, I hope you have a safe New Year's this year and a blessed one. And if you have any questions about these guys, which... I really don't know what it would be till we find out what they are. Um, you're welcome to give me a call. So have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.